In this video, we're going to look at how to find the electric field for a linear charge distribution, but this time on the axes of the charge distribution. So a couple of strategies here. Uh, we want to be able to integrate in terms of one variable. So once again, we're going to replace the dq with lambda dx. And then we're going to replace r, our distance, uh, from each tiny little piece of q uh, from the uh, point, of or or point of interest, which we called point p. Uh, we're going to replace that in term the r value in terms of x, and we're going to integrate over x. So that's how we're going to set our limits. Um, if this is a positive charge, line of charge, then of course our electric field is pointing away from it, as you can see in this picture. If it is a negative charge, then obviously it would be pointing towards it. So let's get going. All right, so we're going to start by writing our electric field equation. The electric field is going to be the integral of dq over 4 pi e naught r squared. And of course, we could replace 1 over 4 pi e naught with k. Totally up to you. Uh, I'm going to leave it in terms of the variables that you will find on your uh, equation sheet. Um, like I said, uh, we're going to be adding up all of our little dqs, some distance x away from the point of interest. So just like we did in the last one, we're going to say that dq is equal to the linear charge density times dx. And our r is going to be replaced with, for each of these little spots here that I add up, they're going to be a distance x away, so my r is going to be x. So let's do that. So uh, that's going to give us the integral of lambda dx over 4 pi e naught x squared. And of course, we need limits. Since we're integrating from x, our first x starts at a distance a away from point p. And it's going to end up here, a distance l plus a away. So my upper limit should be l plus a. Okay, now I'm going to pull out all of our constants here. So our electric field, uh, the constants are lambda, our linear charge density, times, uh, or, or sorry, over 4 pi e naught. And then we're going to take our integral from a to l plus a of uh, dx over x squared. Now, this is an integral you should be able to do without consulting an integral table. Uh, by the time we get to the AP exam. And it is one that actually has come up more often on AP exams because of that. So when we do this integral, we're going to put the x up in the numerator. So this is going to become, there's our constants, lambda over 4 pi e naught. And our integral of uh, with limits of a to l plus a. And so this is going to be x to the negative 2 dx. So remember when we do integrals, we add to the power and we divide by that final power. So if we add to the power, that's going to become a negative 1. And so I'm going to get, here are my constants again, 4 pi e naught. And uh, here I'm going to get negative 1 over x from a to l plus a. So now I just have to put in uh, my limits here. So my electric field is equal to lambda over 4 pi e naught. And then we have a negative 1 over L plus A minus a negative, so plus, uh, our 1 over A. Now, if I had a limit on time, like this was an AP exam, I probably would stop here. But we're going to simplify this because we have time, right? All the time in the world. So uh, I'm going to make a common denominator here. So I'm going to multiply this by a over a. I'm going to multiply this by l plus a over l plus a. And so we get uh, our constants here, lambda over 4 pi e naught. And then we have on the top here, we have a negative a plus l plus a, right? There's our negative a, and there's our l plus a, and that's all over a times the quantity l plus a. All right, so now we can see that actually these a's are going to go away, right? If I have a negative a and a plus a, that's going to go away. And so my um, maybe final answer <laughs> is lambda over 4 pi e naught l 
over the quantity A times L plus A. Now, um, you'll notice in the description of this problem, it says that it wants the electric field for a total line of charge of plus Q for a length L at point P, a distance A from the line. So that means we can't leave it in terms of lambda. So we need to replace lambda. But lambda, right, the linear charge density is the total charge Q over the total length L. So that means I'm going to go put this in for lambda, and you'll notice that these L's are going to cancel. So uh, instead of writing them and then canceling them, I'm just going to cancel them. So instead of lambda, we're going to put Q over L, and that's going to cancel with this L. These L's are going to cancel here. And then that's over 4 pi E naught A times L plus A in parentheses there. So that is our final answer for a on axis uh, electric field from a linear charge distribution. Now, the other way you could write this is in terms of K. All right, if we wanted to do that in terms of K, uh, we could also just write K Q. And remember, K is Coulomb's constant. Uh, 9 times 10 to the negative 9, no, 9 times 10 to the positive 9, and that replaces this 4 pi e naught, and so that would be a over l plus a. I like using k because it's much cleaner, but your equation sheet uses 1 over 4 pi e naught, so you get to choose. It's totally acceptable to do it either way. All right, that is the on axis line of charge, so that's it for this video.